great day, it's Amanda, and I wanted to come to you briefly on the topic, and that topic is uh, love at all times, engage if you have to. Now, let me give my disclaimer. I stand on that the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So I'm not on here because I'm perfect. I'm on here because he, God, has perfect love. Mm. That's so powerful. So I want to encourage that one, this message is not for everybody, but it's for someone. Love at all times, engage if you have to. I'm going to say that again. Love at all times, engage if you have to. The Bible actually tells us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. This is a great commandment. He tells us to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, and soul. Love our neighbor as we love ourselves. But he tells us, give no place to the devil. He says that it's very important for us to learn how to, you know, engage against the wiles of the enemy. Don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You know, it, gone are the days of letting these dark principalities and the enemy just terrorize God's people. The Bible tells us the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violent take it by force. Love at all times, but engage if you have to, honey. Let me tell you something. It's nothing like these dark principalities coming against the people of God and you sitting there not fighting. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down vain imaginations. I'm telling you one thing. The enemy is looking who he may devour. He doesn't have any power. He's just roaring around with no power. But why are you giving him power through this, you know, vacuum of fear, you know? God said he ain't give us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Love at all times, but engage if you have to. In Proverbs 26, 27, it says, whoever rolls a stone, that stone will return upon them. Whoever digs a pit, that will fall into that pit. I'm here to let you know, engagement is a necessary part of our salvation. Love at all times, but engage if you have to. I like to say it like this, you know, hip hop heads, y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. And this doesn't mean you go around with this mentality, me against the world, but you let the devil know, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. The curse without a cause cannot come. What I'm saying is biblical, folks. So you can try to stone me if you want to, but I know who I am in Christ. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Think about that woman that was caught in the act of adul adultery and they tried to stone her. They tried to stone her, and Jesus came by her side. Jesus came by her side. Jesus came by her side, and what did he say? He who is without sin cast the first stone. That's what he said. So I'm here to admonish you, my brother and my sister. You don't have to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Even now, there are principalities coming against me because the enemy does not want me to get this message out here because I'm live on the Internet. I'm live all around the world. Love at all times, but engage if you have to. You do not have to be a victim. Is there somebody that's nitpicking you and brown-nosing you like they're holier than thou? I'm here to let you know that you don't have to be ignorant of Satan's devices, that you don't have to be the victim of these bully leagues, that you have a defense and your defense is God's unconditional love because his eye is in every place. Nobody can just walk up on you and shoot you point blank range. I'm here to let you know you have a defense. God said you are his beloved. He said that, you know, the righteous will never be plucked up out of his hand. We bind up strange fires, demonic darts. He shut up a seat to the blood of Jesus be against you. Let the Lord quench every fiery dart. God said in his word, his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. I will not be silenced. This word will get out to somebody and set that one free. I'm here to let you know, love at all times, but engage if you have to. How many people have been senselessly victims of demonic principalities? too many. I'm trying to tell you, you can say backfire on the devil. You can say ricochet in the name of Jesus. Shadabasia, uyadabasi terosia. You know, the Lord will give us a way of escape out of every temptation. Is this too hard? Is this unchrist like No, it's not. It's the way of the kingdom. The kingdom of God is not just in word, but in power. Let me let you know on today that you can love at all times, but engage if you have to. That just saved somebody's soul right there. That just warned somebody and said, you know what? I think I might leave such and such alone because you can say God is watching you and all that stuff. But I'm trying to tell you, until you exercise your power in Christ and understand that the Lord has your back, he has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways, you will know. Love at all times, but engage if you have to. You see how I was just almost ambushed? I'm here to let you know this is warfare. I'm not just talking this. This is something that I'm experiencing. The Lord 
is not mocked. Hallelujah. Whatsoever good any man doeth, the same shall they receive of the Lord. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yet he offers us redemption and grace. I'm so glad I'm under grace and not under the law. Is somebody bringing your past against you? In Matthew 7, it says, judge not or you'll be judged. With the same measure that you judge, it will be measured back to you again. We got fishers who like to dig into the sea and forget the sea of forgetfulness, but that's where the Lord through your shame and your sin and your condemnation. There's no more condemnation in Christ. I'm here to let you know that you have a second chance. Take your second chance. Love at all times, but engage if you have to. Well, until next time, understand this. The Lord loves us with an unconditional love, and he won't leave us where he found us. Shalom.